bit of a, a drama right there, but at the end of the day, both of these men handled themselves like gentlemen. They don't need crosswords to get them fired up. They're going to meet, meet in the middle of the ring, and they are going to battle, and it is going to be a war. We got two pros, two fighters, two men. I think it would equal a great fight. You know, most of the times when I do this job, I'm very excited. There are very few times I'm actually nervous, as the late great Chick Kern would say. It's nervous time. Yeah, I can't remind. I, I woke up early this morning, Doug. I mean, the buzz here in the city. People are gonna miss out if they don't check I this out. I haven't seen it like this, and I haven't felt it like this in 19 or 20 years. It's yeah. been since Mike Tyson was fighting here. It's been since Oscar De La Hoya was right. fighting here. I haven't seen this much atmosphere early in fight week. Carried all the way in to the to, to Friday with the weigh-in. This is just this is wonderful. This is and what it's you, all about. And you know what? The fans here, obviously a lot of Canelo fans, a lot of Triple G fans as well, but I think there's a mutual respect here for both fighters on both sides. There is, and I think that is a variable. I do wonder how Gennady Golovkin, at least in the early stages of the fight, is going to react for the first time in about five years not being the fan favorite. Listen, Gennady has his fans, there's no doubt about it, but this is still a home game for Canelo Alvarez. He should keep that in mind during close rounds. Because again, if you leave it into the hands of the judges, you never know. And he is 35 years old, Doug. He is 35 years old. Had a long um, amateur career. I know he got into the pro game a, a little bit later, but could there be a factor of him possibly, potentially, turning a little old overnight? I don't think so. I don't think he's going to get old overnight, but I think it's fair to say that he's plateaued. I think it's fair to say that maybe...